Small Texas towns are getting major investments. Cause for concern or reason to be excited? I'm Charles Blaine, and this is Texas Tomorrow. Are you worried about your kids' future? You should be. You're listening to Texas Tomorrow with Charles Blaine. Join Charles as he talks about the people and issues that are affecting you and your family at the local level of government. Small Texas towns are getting major investments, many from tech companies who are looking to bring them into the future. These towns often have all of the makings necessary for a traditional Texas boomtown. Low-cost land and housing, plenty of available space to build, and a ready and willing workforce that's looking for opportunity. But sometimes these investments and developments can cause problems for those who choose to call these Texas towns their home and who have done so for decades. Samsung, for instance, is building a $17 billion facility investing more than $40 billion in Taylor, Texas. They're building a chip-making factory on a 3.9 million square meter site. It's the size of 500 soccer fields. This month, the Texas Department of Transportation built a new highway, dubbed the Samsung Highway, to move people in and out of the area and give them access to the facility as it grows. Williamson County, where Taylor, Texas is located, is expecting a $200 billion investment in the county over the next 20 years because of this. It's already one of the fastest growing counties in the country, and they're hoping to grow some more. Separately, across the state, Bitcoin mining facilities are popping up everywhere. The Public Utility Commission expects the power demand in the state to double by 2030, with 50 percent of that new demand coming from these Bitcoin mining facilities. One of these facilities, a 300 megawatt one, operates in Granbury, Texas. The noise put off by the dozens of computers running day and night have residents complaining of headaches, sleep disturbances and general displeasure with having it in their community. Some states have shielded these facilities from noise ordinances because they see the fiscal benefit of that, but others have it. So while this advancement in technology is bringing new opportunity to people and to small towns, it's not without its ill effects. Similarly, in Sunnyside, a community here in Houston, they're building a 240-acre solar farm. It's supposed to be the largest urban solar farm in the country. While some residents complain about what it'll do to the neighborhood, others are incredibly excited about the opportunity that it will bring to the neighborhood. But the main question everyone has is how the people who have lived there for decades will benefit. And that's the same question that we see with a lot of these projects in small towns across the state. Much of the opposition comes from people, families and taxpayers who live there and have lived there for decades. And they're wondering how they'll benefit from the billions of dollars in private and tax funded investments that are coming into their communities to move them into the future. Undoubtedly, there will always be downsides like noise, traffic and increased cost of living, which is why many argue there should be a tangible benefit for those who live there. And as major cities in Texas continue to get more expensive, we're going to see more investments in these exurban and suburban areas when it comes to these new companies. Where the natural conflict of fighting is going to keep moving forward is in these areas while they try to move forward and maintain that natural hometown feeling that they always knew of. And citizens in these communities who have invested in them for years have a fair argument about wanting to benefit from it as well. As more of this growth happens, inevitably supported by your tax dollars, whether directly through things like tax benefits solely to businesses or indirectly like infrastructure being built solely to support businesses, taxpayers should make sure that their local governments aren't ignoring the basic needs that they have in an effort to court big businesses that likely don't even need the support to begin with. With technological advancements coming at a fast pace, we can all benefit, but it's all dependent on how it's done. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Texas Tomorrow. Make sure you like it, share it, and share it with your family and friends and let us know if there's something that we haven't covered that's happening in your neighborhood. So I hope you took something away from this. And if you did, make sure you tell a friend, a family member, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you see fit. And make sure you tune in for next week's episode of Texas Tomorrow.